Hey guys. How is everyone doing today? It's Friday, right? Isn't today Friday? For the working people, it's Friday. Well, I'm a working people, but not the tr not the 9 to 5. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? I can't see the screen at times. I can't see the sun's over me. So I'm just going to talk because I just got out of a. I got to put the phone down one second. Hold on. I just got out of a fascinating quantum trance session. Close the phone. I just got out of a fascinating quantum trance session, and this is the shit that people that do this type of work, this is what you live for, to talk to an interdimensional being, or ET, or, you know, talk about a life on another planet. It wasn't, it wasn't a happy experience, though. And I'm sharing this because um, people need to see the patterns Things happening in your life come from your past, your soul's past. So with this being, what happened is they had a life on Pluto, was a scientist, so to speak, you know, got lured to work for the wrong team. So what they were working on that could have been helpful to the beings of Pluto, they ended up getting lured to work with people that were not helpful and they wanted to harm they could not remember all the details. Uh, what I know is that this facility they were working in, they even stayed there. Like, they, this being didn't live somewhere else. Like, stayed in this place. Got hit to something similar, what some of us would call a bomb. But it was more like an energy, more advanced energy weapon. Um, the being said it was like a um, white, strong, uh, like a white light coming in, but not, not healing white light. Um like screeching in the ears so the why I'm telling this though is what happens after this life because this this soul had so much guilt about what they did in that life they believe they deserved what they got so then I guess as in spirit now this so now this being is no longer a member of Pluto back in spirit other beings With the soul's permission, some aspect of the soul was punishing themselves. So I'm not saying other beings forced this on them because your beliefs is what creates your reality. This soul's beliefs was that they deserve to be punished. So ended up their next life on some desolate planet. Would not say the name. Probably nothing we recognize. The soul was fed on, like siphoned their energy, siphoned daily. Starved of whatever food you ate on this planet starved of food beaten like pretty much um terrorized for an entire lifetime that kind of experience it didn't just harm that lifetime you know say say it was a human life because i don't know what they were on that life it injured this person at soul level it broke them this happened so long ago because I was going through different lives with the soul and I asked, you know, if it was anywhere before a human life and it, it wasn't. Like, it was eons ago. But that pain has been in their soul, buried. So they have repeated lives since then where they sought out power so that they were never the one starved again. Does that make sense? Like, there's patterns to all this. I can't see. Is anyone talking or saying anything? Um... Like, it's very sad, but for me, it's also fascinating to watch. Now I have noise out here. That looks so cool. Athena's working on a wand. It's so funny. Like, it made me think of, like, when you said it earlier, it hit me earth. Earth wand. So it's with the earth box. It's so fascinating, though, to see the patterns that happen and play out through lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes. And it's all based on our don't, own beliefs. Don't move. 
like we're creating our reality and yes there are beings that come in and try to influence this and that and they try to knock you off your path and you're tested left and right but at the end of the day you create your reality so I just wanted to share this with you guys because if you're dealing with something in your life now that you can't get to the bottom of if you're like you know I, how do I fix this how do I fix this this is where what is my camera doing it's like flashing back and forth this is how you get to bottom the bottom of it because until you acknowledge the root of why something's happening and until you release it and say I'm done with this and heal that that thing within you it's going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating it may not always be here on earth but you're gonna have life somewhere you're gonna repeat the same fucking lessons over and over and over until you heal it and you're done with it I love how the sun's shining over me as I'm talking <laughs> so please guys please this is why I'm sharing this stuff you know if you if you need to hear something to like make it click like oh I need to learn this lesson please do it I don't <laughs> I don't want to be doing the same work on another planet 200 years from now. I'm meeting some of you over again doing work like this saying, why the fuck did you not bring this up on the earth the time we were on earth so that you weren't like suffering all this time. This is why I do this. On that note, you guys have a great day. And today is the last day to use um, my code birthday41 to get $41 off of quantum trance. So... If you've been waiting, now it's time to do it. Tomorrow it goes back up to normal. And that's not even normal price. What I'm charging now is still low, guys, actually. At the end of the year it goes up again. So, I'm just letting you know. Don't wait. www.coven88.com Click the tab on the top, Quantum Trance. And that'll tell you most of what you probably need to know. And if you want to talk to me, if you have questions, please PM me. I don't charge people to just talk. I will talk to you. Some people think I don't seem like, you know, I want to talk to people, but I actually will talk to you. I'm just short and blunt. That's just how I am. So don't be afraid to ask me. All right, guys. Have a good day.